Hello everyone. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Today we all are here to check the pH value of the some samples. So for this experiment, uh, we have the some samples of hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide, water, lemon, and uh, detergent. So for this experiment, uh, we have the indicators. Indicators, it means it is a universal indicator. Universal indicator is a mixture of the indicators that works on the on the basis of color. It means it gives the different color in the different sample. So let us start the So now this is the uh, some samples. So now I'm using the indicators. So uh, I'm putting the some drop of the indicator in the each samples and you have to now observe the color. So students, look at here. This is looking like a violet color. This color violet and uh, violet colors in the pH papers, it means the universal indicator is towards the pH value 14. So we can say that the pH value of the sodium hydroxide is 14. And the color of the soft indicator in the soft detergents is looking like a blue color or the purple color. This is the source that the, the pH value just what between the 10th and 12th 10th and 12th we can say that the ph value of the detergent is 10 of it is basic in nature Lish, lemon you can look it is the red in color but not in very dark red so the ph value of the lemon we can say that the water you can look water the color indicators gives the green color in the water so the green color shows the ph value 7 color this is the hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric uh, acid is the red, red is, and uh, the pH value of the hydrochloric acid is one of two. Okay. So students, what we learned today? Today we learned about the pH value. pH value. How can we find the pH value by using the indicators? Understood? By using uh, using the universal indicator, we can find the pH value of the its, its samples. Okay.